Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. I have to immediately give credit to this video to Mammology101. I just finished a video myself, uploaded it. Let's have a little look around the internet. I've got a couple of leads for some stories. I was looking into them. And then I saw something on their channel. It popped up in my recommendations. And when I saw the title, I was just like, no, 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 no. This can't be true. Because if this is true, then somebody, some company could get themselves into serious trouble. Lo and behold, I look into it. Oh yeah, it's true, all right. It's true. Kotaku. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, look, okay, that very name, probably a bunch of you just going, oh God. Well, you've seen the title anyway, so you know. But, you know... I have my issues with them. I think they're trash. I think all sites, virtually all sites like that are trash. There are some good people working there. You know, let's not discredit. There are some good people here or there. Can't tarnish everyone with the same brush. But for the most part, garbage. You know, they uh, bait people purposely because they want to drag people in for hate clicks, etc. Uh, they purposely twist um, video gaming into political issues, race issues, gender issues, blah, blah, blah. You know, uh, my victimhood and all that sort of stuff, because that's what they are. But regardless of the way I feel, they have a platform and they have a right to put what they want. Okay? I can disagree. I can, I can vocally disagree, make a video to disagree, but they're well within their rights to do so. However... When it comes to the hiring of personnel at your company, it's a completely different kettle of fish. Because then you have to adhere to the letter of the law. And if you don't, then you get yourselves into massive trouble. So let's just have a look at this, shall we? This is Natalie. And Natalie is a senior editor. Bop at Kotaku, and a few days ago, on the 13th of January, she tweeted this out. Hi, there's an editor job open at Kotaku. Big happy smiley face emoji type of thing. I'd be thrilled if we had another POC slash queer person on our team. So please feel free to hit me up with any questions. Also, the link may load wrong on TwitTwat, sorry, staff editor, Kotaku, New York, etc. So you may say, oh, well, it's Kotaku being woke. They're just trying to get, you know, another uh, diversity bingo hire so they can tick a box somewhere. Uh, it gets a little bit uh, more complicated than that, folks. You see, uh, this is illegal. You can't do this. And it takes 30 seconds of research to find out why. This is the US Equal Opportu uh, Employment Opportunity Commission. And these are the rules on hiring and firing and harassment and all that sort of stuff in the workplace. <clears throat> Let's just look at a few of these features, shall we? Job advertisements. This is technically a job advertisement. It's not a typical one which goes on to uh, a newspaper, a billboard, or etc. But this is asking, and this is trying to get people to apply. So this is an advertisement. It is illegal. Can we just stress that? It is illegal for an employer to publish a job advertisement that shows preference for or discourages someone from applying for a job because of her race, color, religion, sex, including gender identity, orientation, pregnancy, uh, origin, age, disability, genetic information. Preferential preference there. A preference for. Let's go back to the tweet. <clears throat> I'd be thrilled if we had another POC slash queer person on our team that is displaying preference. Job applications must be dealt with neutrally. 
There is an editor job open at Kotaku. Link for this down below. Also, link may not. That's how you're meant to do it. Not display any preference whatsoever. Not to persuade or dissuade any particular group to apply for your role. But as it's a Twitter, it's not a job advertisement per se. There could be some, you know, potential loopholes with that. Okay, let's just play that game. Recruitment in general then, shall we? Recruitment. It is also illegal for an employer to recruit new employees in a way that discriminates against them because of their race, colour, religion, sex, including gender identity, etc, etc. Preference, again. I'd be thrilled if we had another POC slash queer person. That is preference. It is dissuading people who are not a POC, that'd be white, and uh, people who are not queer. So that would be straight. So if anyone, male or female, is straight and white, they are being dissuaded from applying to this role. Application and hiring. Oh, do, do we... We can go into this again. It is illegal for an employer to discriminate against a job applicant because of that. And again, they have shown preference. Now, I am a believer in meritocracy. I believe that you get the best person for the role regardless of all of this. So if I'm hiring for Hill versus Babyface, I want um, a, an editor, let's just say, because I'm not great at editing, let's just be honest. Uh, I would hire the best editor, the person who put forward to me the best work. And I would hire them if the best person was a straight white man. And I'd hire them if the best person was a black queer female. It would matter none to me. What matters to me is the quality of the work. That is what matters to me. And I think that is the way that everything should be. Because when you play this sort of game, you don't get the best. You just tick boxes and you just get diversity quotas. And that's where your company falls apart. So you could be playing your diversity bingo. But in the end of the day, you could be actually doing yourself a disservice. Because you're letting the best people go. Your company would be worse off just purely because you wanted to virtue signal. That is crazy. And that, folks, is one of the reasons why stuff like this is illegal. It's meant to protect POC. I call them black people, whatever, black, brown, whatever. This terminology is just pathetic. Or queer people. It's meant to protect these people so they can go to jobs and say, look, I'm qualified for this based off my skill. Instead of being patronised and elevated in an effort to produce equality. They all want equality as long as equality means they get preferential treatment. That is how people like Natalie operate. And it's disgusting. It's disgusting. It is bigoted. It is racist. It is sexist. They are the bad guys. I don't know how many times I have to say this. They are the bad guys. And I can't believe... That they would be so naive to put this out into the into the public sphere where everyone can see. And look, you can go through and you can you can have a look at all the people. Angry applies to this tweet. Look, it's a bunch of guys. Irrelevant. Utterly irrelevant. What matters is the law. This is what matters. What the US Equal Employment Opportunity Commission says about hiring and firing in a workplace. All your virtue signaling, all your uh, passive-aggressive behaviour, it doesn't matter one bit. What matters is the legality of the situation, and Natalie, you have put yourself into a really tricky predicament here, because if somebody was to forward this on to the US Equal Opportunity uh, Employment Opportunity Commission then Kotaku 
or your parent company or whoever could be in serious trouble. But at the same time, why does this not surprise me? So there you go, folks. Uh, Kotaku actually uh, letting themselves uh, potentially open for uh, lawsuits. That's just what they need in these troubling times for them. So I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do get a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media and Twitch for live streaming links. They're in the description box down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now.